These remind me of some of the ladies in New York City. Like I said, I have never seen them live before. I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to hear one of these gals mad. Oh, oh you see that? Set her up. And she is, she's stacking her up there. Set her up for a pile driver, swung her up and dropped her right on her back. Uh, Debbie Combs' back's got to be hurt. She took a slam on the floor. She landed on the table. Took a, her back into the post here. And now that. Both gals have got to be hurting. I'm telling you, I don't know how they do it. And she's again setting her up once again. Oh. Beautiful move by Liz Jeez. Chase, but devastating on Debbie Combs. Oh, she kicks out, though. That just shows you the caliber of uh, lady wrestlers you're looking at right here. We've got a wonderful one. Sandy Chase now just landed in Sandy Barr's lap. Liz Chase, I say Sandy, Liz Chase. Oh, she rolls a reverse roll up there. Reverse. Oh, she kicks out. She rolls through. She's got Debbie Combs. Oh. These two gals are very easy match. They're going at There's it. There's only a minute left in the match. Time a factor, undoubtedly. Liz Chase kicks out now. I wouldn't want to be Sandy Barr in this ring. There's just no way. Not with two wild women in there. There's a headbutt. A headbutt. By Liz Chase. Looks like she can go for a bulldog again. again. Oh. Oh. Good move. One that you see. Uh, Liz Chase made a mistake. She didn't cover her there for the count. She's going for the slime. Now she covers. That's oh, this count. Debbie Combs is unbelievable. She's taking so much punishment, and she keeps kicking out. Liz Chase is taking a bunch too. I'll tell you this. I'm and surprised Woody Debbie Combs is standing, Jeannie. I'm surprised either one of them are standing. There again, Chase off the ropes. Backdrop right. by Combs. Chase and Combs really going after it. Time winding There's down. The there is the bell. These two gals. Excellent match. These two gals really worked their hearts out on this one. But Chase thinks she's won it, but Bar's calling it a draw. Oh, time on the draw between. Debbie Combs and Liz Chase. Excellent match. The people just saw two of the finest lady wrestlers in the world. And they gave a 15-minute match. Either one of those girls could give Wendy Ooh. Richter a run for her money on that heavyweight belt she's got, I'll tell you. We're going to have a lot more excitement right here at the second phase of the 60th anniversary of the Owen Fam in professional wrestling in the Pacific Northwest. You stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks to Tom Peterson, you're going to see this on television right now. This is going to be the chain match, the kendo stick match. There goes Sandy Barr. He's putting that kendo stick on top of that iron post over there in the corner. Now, you have heard all about this by now. If you were watching last Saturday night, you saw how this whole thing came down. This is American Ninja against Super Ninja. There's a lot on the line. They're going to be chained to each other with a reasonably short chain. Now, the first one, of course, that can battle his way over and get that kendo stick that's hanging from that pole will obviously use it to his advantage on his opponent. If Super Ninja loses, he loses his mask. If American Ninja loses, he gets out of town. Here's Don Owen to make the announcement. The next event will be one fall to a finish, a uh, special ninja battle with the wrestlers chained together. Now, usually we don't put these things on television because it's, it's uh, something entirely different. You don't know how it's going to be. But Tom Peterson, probably the best sponsor ever to be in the Northwest, made ask as a special favor to him to put this thing on TV for a lot of the shut-ins. So we're going to abide by Tom Peterson's uh, request. So I, as I understand this, they're chained together by the wrist. Everything goes. If a guy gets a ninja stick and can beat the other guy and make him quit, well, then he wins. If the American ninja loses, he has to leave the state of Oregon. If uh, the Japanese ninja loses, he has to take the mask off that he's been wearing almost all of his life. So this will be introducing 265 pounds from japan the super ninja his opponent in this corner 310 pounds 
the American Ninja. And the referee is Super Lord. Ninja has asked me to tell you people he needs complete silence for his concentration. Well, I'm sure you'll get that. <laughs> the referee, of course, is uh, American Sandy Barr. And Art Barr is back up here in the crow's nest with us. Art, this is the one that I didn't think we'd ever see on television. This, this is not going to be pretty. It's no, this get is not going to be a pretty sight. Well, you got a chain, a candlestick stick up there, and a lot riding on this. Yeah, a whole lot. More than just pride. You got money riding on this thing because if American Ninja loses, he's got to get out of town, and that's going to cost him some money. If Super Ninja loses, he's got to take off his mask. You know, the, this uh, could, is obviously potentially a very dangerous match, Art, because that Kendall stick alone, it... Look at these men square off together. Yeah. Now, that, now they're both masters of the martial art. You know, look at the... Super Ninja is six foot six. American Ninja... He's about an inch or so more taller than the yeah, Super Ninja. Yeah, he's an inch or two inches taller. Six, yeah. seven, six, eight. And look at the size oh, of the weight. Oh, he is a big dude. No doubt about it. Now, again, remember, both of these men are martial arts experts. They've both been instructors. The Super Ninja has been a Japanese champion. Uh, there's a, a kick and a chop from American Ninja. Look at him get the slack in that chain. Yeah. He looks like he's been in one of these before. Hey, look, he's going to use that slack. Oh, man. So far, the American Ninja is just giving it to the Super Ninja. And now he's going to use the chain to choke him. And Chris Cole over here is going crazy. He's going crazy. Into the ropes goes Super Ninja. Oh, man. Oh, did you see that? There was a delay on the rope when he came off there with a thrust where that chain caught him right in the throat. Yeah. Super Ninja comes back with a kick of his own. There's a mule kick by American Ninja, and Super is down. He caught that mule kick right smack in the ribs. And now American Ninja going for that kendo stick. Yes, he is. He wants that stick. Oh, I heard oh, that up yeah, here. Yeah, he caught it right in the what I mean when Super Ninja kicks you I've been in the ring with him a few times when he kicks you you feel it clear to the bone uh, he right got, there in the yeah, jaw he got the first one the shoulder blade the second one in the jaw another one in the right in the middle of the back Super Ninja using his his footwork now this is a very this is, this is a very interesting match very exciting because you're not just seeing professional wrestling here you're seeing uh, professional martial arts wrestling. You're seeing a lot of talent in the ring right now, Dog Cos. You're seeing a lot of beef in there, too. There goes American Ninja. He's going to try to get back up there and get that, that candlestick, and he took another right in the hamstring. A hard, vicious, chop-type kick from the Ameri Super Ninja, and down goes American Ninja. What'd you say? Oh, oh, man! Oh, he brought that in from left field. Just a hard chop right on top of the head. What did you say American Ninja's name is? Brian, Brian Adams? Brian Adams. <coughs> oh, he got the Super Ninja right in the mouth with that kick. Oh, and a big elbow. These men oh, are totally to toe oh, not giving oh. or taking at all. I know this is great to watch on television, but uh, I wish you were here tonight because you could you I can hear these guys. Look at that chain on his throat. See, American Ninja Brian Adams, he come in here. He didn't want no title shots. He didn't want nothing. He just wanted the Super Ninja. Now oh, that, he's got it. Yeah, yeah. that that was, uh, he was here for one purpose, and one purpose only. Yeah, fact, these, these he didn't guys, wrestle for a while until he could get Super Ninja. Exactly. These guys aren't out to, out to win a match or get their hand raised. These guys are out to hurt one another. And uh, as you can see, that's what they're doing now. You bet. It's, uh, this is a vengeance match. Up go on the ropes goes Super Ninja coming down. And he caught American Ninja, caught Brian Adams right in the shoulder. And oh. a hard leg drop across the throat. That boot hit him right in the jaw. Here you go. One, two, two. and oh. Brian Adams rolls that shoulder out of there. Adams didn't quite get all the sting that he wanted in that one. 
although it uh, certainly was effective. Another hard right hand from Adams. It stunned him enough to where he'd get another one in. And Super Ninja just used those fingers. These are karate and... Oh, and now he's got it in his eyes, that chain right on his eyes. Don Cossie's grinding them eyes. Oh, man, look at that. Look at that. Got that chain wrapped right around him. Right around, over, right around and his, his eyes. And, uh, yeah, his ears, too. That'll give you a cauliflower ear. Oh, man. That, I can't believe that, this match is on television. Oh, I can't either. This is... Uh, Brian Adams has really got to be hurting tremendously right now as he takes another kick right in the middle of the back. And there's another one, the shoulder, another one, the arm. And now Super Ninja driving that fist down to Brian Adams. American Whoa. Ninja has really got some problems right now. He, he just managed to kick out of that one. He's going to have to draw on every bit of that power that he's got in that massive body of his as Super Ninja goes to the end of that, ro that chain and oh, just clotheslines him down. With the chain. With the chain is a clothesline chain right there. Oh, now it looks like he's going to whip him. Oh! Come on, this is, uh, we told you this is not going to be pretty. And it's getting, it's getting real ugly right now as Super Ninja whipping American Ninja with that chain. Chris Colt pointing to that kendo stick yeah, up on the yeah, pole. Yeah, he is. And there goes Super Ninja up there to get that. Oh, he ran out of chain. American Ninja yanked him down. There's to show you the strength. That chain's uh, strapped onto the wrist, locked on. He ran out of chain. Oh, and he missed with a flying, whatever that thing was. Flying back kick. Missed with a front spinning kick. Did, did you take karate too? No, but I've <laughs> seen a few. Uh, both of them just slugging it out right Exchanging now. Exchanging chops. You bet. Boy, look at the welts on uh, Brian Adams' chest and back as he just takes a gouge right in the eyes. He's he blinded him, uh, Art. He's got his hand over there covering his mouth, his own mouth. Trapped in that chain. Yeah, and Super Ninja. That mares him with the chain? Yeah. Super Ninja using that chain very effectively on the head and face and neck of... Look at him, he's trying to stretch his... He's trying to pull his neck out. Yeah. Yeah, Adams has still got that right hand of his over his face to protect it from the chain. That's got to cut down his breathing. There he goes. He's got that clear. Now Chris Adams is, or Chris uh, Colt is, is telling Super Ninja, get back up there and get that, get that stick. Oh, he hit him with a chain. Right. He used right the chain. Eye, right yeah. The he eye. used the chain as a brass knuckle and caught uh, Brian Adams right on the top of the head oh he's just at the mercy of super ninja right now and super ninja is going to use that chain right on top of the head another hard shot oh man oh. you get could... he looks like he's out cold yeah how much more can he take super ninja i don't think super ninja can I think he's incoherent i look at chris colt now raise his hand with the mafia well colt's trying to get uh, super ninja over there to get that Dick. and uh, Brian Adams American Ninja definitely is really hurting right now I think he is just semi-conscious out there he has taken a terrible beating I see blood from... on his hand oh sure oh, there's no he's doubt he's got it right over the eye I don't I don't doubt that oh he, that chain put a big gash right over the left eye, right eye you can see it oh, oh man. super ninja just kicking now he's, he's going up there and he's getting that stick. he's got the kendo super stick. ninja has the kendo stick and this could be the last we see of brian adams in the northwest for a while i can't believe that this is on tv oh, oh right across the back with that with that kendo stick now remember that that is a kendo stick and that's that is bamboo and it is shaped and constructed so that each little chop like that oh it has a resounding effect oh, right across the chest and Brian Adams, American Ninja, can do nothing right now but just uh, take that beating. Yeah, but Super Ninja is being distracted by the crowd. Yes, He's he is. responding to the crowd. Oh, right, right, right across the eye right again. He's determined to make that gash. Now he's, he's using the stick to choke. With the point of the stick, too. Yeah. Costs, these sticks have been in the dressing room. Brian Adams had it back there. I've, oh, 
I think Adams is just defenseless right now, Art. What in the world is he going to do? Look, look, look. You can see where he's cut around that forehead. Right that yeah, that's, that's where Super Ninja cut him with that chain. And he's just whipping him now. He's just beating him with that kendo stick. And there are red welts across the back of Brian Adams, the American Ninja. As Super Ninja continues. And look at Chris Cold. He's just oh, yeah, he's, down there. Oh, he's having a great time. Cold is. Super look at the bruise on his back right here down across oh, yeah. his shoulders. The Into the ropes goes uh, Brian Adams. Oh, and he just, across the chest. He just, he can't do anything. I think he's bleeding from the chest, Don. Well, he just took a chop. Oh. Either that or those are just uh, welts or some of the blood from his forehead. He is, uh, I think he's out of it. Art, I really think he's out of, out of it. And Super Ninja is just beating him at will right now with the stick, with the chain. Wait a minute, there's a reversal whip. Oh, the, uh, the Kendall stick went into the crowd. The Kendall stick went into the crowd. Chris Colt got it. And now Brian Adams Brian just Adams. got that. Chris Colt threw it in there. And Brian Adams, American Ninja, has got it. And there is blood on that Kendall stick, and it belongs to Brian Adams, the American Ninja. Oh, and now he's coming he lays a few chops on Super oh. Ninja. Down goes Super Ninja. Brian Adams. Wailing on Super Ninja. Boy, have the tables turned? Huh? Just when I thought that Adams was out of it. Wait a minute, there's Colt. Colt tripped Brian Adams. And Sandy Barr saw it. He saw that one. Oh. Sandy saw what happened. Yeah, and I think he's gonna he may call a disqualification. <laughs> How many times have we seen Super Ninja do that to an opponent over the past two weeks? And now Brian Adams, whatever that is, that must be something in common between those two men yeah, right must, there. That must be a martial that, art trade, that green mist, I don't know, but yeah, that Super powder, Ninja is blinded. He is blinded, and he is also out. He has lost the match. This means that his mask has got to come off good because I've been waiting a long time and to see who this. this man is. And now Brian Adams is taking off the mask. There he comes. Of Super Ninja. And you're going to see this. Let's keep the there camera. Keep the cameras keep the camera on camera it. Real close there keep on the cameras Super on Super Ninja. It. Chris Colt is dragging Super Ninja out of the ring. And the mask, the mask is off. The mask, we can't see anything. The mask is off. And Chris Colt is there. He put his coat Chris, over oh, the Oh, his coat's over the face. Chris Colt put... Hey, here comes, here comes Rip Rip Oliver. Oliver. What's Rip Oliver's in there. Oh, oh Rip Oliver's attacking Brian Adams, Look American at Ninja. Brian Rip Adams Oliver. had the toughest match of his life. Rip Oliver's Rip choking Oliver. him. Now he's got him wrapped up in those ropes. What's, hey, what's going on? He, 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 all, right, Eric, all right. What's going Art, on here? Art, Art, you better get out there. Somebody better get out there. Hey, Rip this, Oliver this is, 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 is... There goes Art Barr out there. And Rip Oliver is choking Brian Adams. He's using the kendo stick. He beat him. We need some help. Here comes Mike Miller. Here comes Coco Samoa. There's Art Barr out there. And boy, Art, uh, Rip Oliver got out of there. Coco Samoa helping uh, Brian get out of those ropes. Mike Miller's in there. Oh, uh, Rip Oliver. Rip Oliver came in there, just came running through the crowd, jumped in the ring, attacked Brian Adams, American Ninja. And used that Kendall stick on him, wrapped him up in the ropes, and was just uh, choking him. Uh, Rip Oliver. Well, he hasn't changed any. He's still using uh, the clan tactics. But Brian Adams is your winner. Brian Adams is the winner of the chain match, the Kendall stick match. And he's got Super Ninja's mask, but. We didn't exactly see who Super Ninja was. We'll be back with more after this timeout. We're back, and the man getting into the ring is the Pacific Northwest heavyweight champion, Ricky Vaughn. Ricky Vaughn. Ricky Vaughn. Not my man, favorite person. The man who put Diamond Timothy Flowers out of the wrestling extravaganza due to an injury sustained on his head. 
Ricky Vaughn, one of the top contenders for Rookie of the Year, wears the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Belt. And I'll bet you anything, Rip Oliver would love to get his hands on that belt. Ricky Vaughn's come a long way, Jeannie. I gotta yes, give credit where credit's due. That man improves every time he gets in the ring, and look at the man he's up against. Moon Dog Moretti. And here's Rip Oliver. Where's Rip Oliver? Standing right in oh. front of Mr. Vaughn. I was looking at Moondog standing behind me. Oliver standing right there. He's arguing with Barry Owens I right now. I shouldn't be watching Moondog argue with the audience. I got to see what Oliver's going to say. Ricky Vaughn better beware. He could be at the hands of the cripple. I want to there. make an issue. A challenge right now tonight to meet Billy Jack Haynes or whoever what he wants to call himself. He can bring his daddy down there. He can bring his brothers or whatever he wants to. But Saturday night... I'm staying right here in Portland, Oregon, and I'm going to cripple Billy Jack up right here in his hometown. I run him out of Florida. I run him out of Texas. Now I'm going to run him out of his own home. You heard it. Rip Oliver is staying in the he's Pacific Northwest for how long? Texas. We don't know, but he is staying in the Pacific Northwest. We'll get it on. I'll tell you, you what, Rip Oliver can, can back up every word he's speaking right now. Yes, he can. Look at this. Ricky Vaughn is going to take on Rip Oliver. You got better things to worry about, you punk. Moretti will take care of you. That's right. Moretti will take care of you. Oh, Rip Oliver's arguing with Ricky Vaughn. Get okay. serious, Rip. Rip has never now, well, why doesn't Ricky Moretti Vaughn. hit him? If Moretti was a smart wrestler, he'd be on. He's got his He'd be on Vaughn like on. that. He'd be on him right there. Oh. Ricky Vaughn basically telling Rip Oliver to get out of the ring and go back to the dressing room. Just shook hands with uh, Wally from Japan. That's right, we are being filmed for Japan. Exactly, tonight. a lot of Japanese photographers and cameramen if around the ring. If comes out and he wants to, he will get the match with you. At the Portland Sports and East Saturday night. I think well, Barry Owens is just leaving it in the hands of Billy Haynes. If Billy, when Billy comes out, if he wants it... Oh, where's Billy Haynes? Billy Haynes is nowhere to be seen. Jim. Well, he'll be coming out in a while. He said, when, when he comes out, ball. if he wants it. Introducing, on my left, Rip the Cripple Weighing Oliver. 237 pounds from Boise, Idaho, Moondog Ed Moretti. From Boise, Idaho, 230-some-odd pounds. Moondog Moretti. He's going to be in Boise, Idaho tomorrow night. Okay. On my right, <laughs> weighing 255 pounds from Florida, the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion, Ricky Vaughn. Look at that. Ricky Vaughn, the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion. Oh, the crowd well, they loves love him. Ricky. I don't know why. They do. They love Ricky Vaughn. They noticed Owen didn't put the belt down next to me. No, he didn't. Moondog already is going after Vaughn with that chain. He hasn't taken the spike collar off yet. I'd like to see him already knock a couple of this guy's teeth out with that chain. That'll be good. Moondog already still walking around with the chain and with his collar. Danny Barr, I believe, is going to give him some kind of a warning. Danny Barr better beware. He thought he had a tough last match with those women. Already in his chain, or forced to be reckoned with. Audience still throwing garbage into the ring. Bothers no me. No class. Bothers me a lot. Moondog still wearing his collar. Can you try and take it off, Moondog? He's stretching. And there goes Barr, always putting his hands on the wrestlers. There's no need for it. Moondog does not want to take off his collar. He might need that for next support. You never know. With studs? I don't see no studs, Jeannie. I do. Pointed ones. Now Barr's getting physical with him. He's trying to get that collar off of Moondog. Well, I'll tell you what. If I was Moondog Murdy, I'd make Sandy Barr eat that collar. Sandy Barr got the collar off of Moondog, tossed it to one of the security guards. Moondog now, without his chain and without his collar, going after your favorite, Ricky Vaughn. 
Ricky Vaughn isn't my favorite. You could see a title change here. A lot of people underestimate Moondog Ed Moretti. Well, the belt is not on the line in this one. What else is new? <laughs> Vaughn's a closet champion. He doesn't defend a title against nobody. Forearm smash sends Moondog Moretti clear across the ring. Come on, boy, what the hell's that? A lot of strong guys on this card tonight. Vaughn's oh, one of them. Oh. You got to give Vaughn credit where it's due. He's come a long way since I've been here. I won't take it away from him. I saw him his first night. Very first night in wrestling here in Pacific Northwest. Had the strength, had the moves, but didn't have the speed. Now he's got it all. Top wrist lock on Vaughn by Moretti. Experience comes with time, Jeannie. Yes, it does. And it seems to be coming to him very quickly. Working on that arm. Oh, coming big, down on that oh. left arm with his leg. And again. Big leg drops on Moretti's arm there. Ricky Vaughn has got legs like trees. At least Vaughn's got smart enough to the fact to work one part of the body at a time. Figure four arm bar by Vaughn on Moretti. Moretti goes for the ropes and Vaughn just yanks him right off. Now why didn't Barr break that hole? Moretti was on the ropes. me why Barr doesn't do what Barr doesn't do. <laughs> Incompetence. I have no idea why Sandy does or doesn't do anything. Maybe it's the old age syndrome. <laughs> Top wrist lock now on Moondog Moretti. Working on that left arm, trying to take that weak spot. Well, Ricky Vaughn has come a long way. He's doing a big number on that arm. Moretti's biting him. Bit him right on the face. Moretti does that a lot. That's... Well, I asked him one time why he does that. He says, I'm a dog. Moondog. Exactly. Vicious. He is. He's just like... And I hate to say the name, but he's just like a junkyard dog. Yes, there is another wrestler by the name of Junkyard Dog, but that's what he's like. Junkyard Dog doesn't compare to Moondog Moretti, though. No, I mean like a real junkyard dog. The genuine thing, the kind of dogs that live in junkyards, eat garbage. Kill think, for a living. I think he likes flesh more than garbage. But then again, in some cases, as Ricky Vaughn, the flesh is garbage. Elbow to the midsection. Here comes Moretti off our road. Shoulder tackle. Over the top of Vaughn. Oh, big hip toss. Great big one. On the right takedown now by Vaughn into the figure four arm bar. Already down. He keeps going back to that arm, Jeannie. is very smart on his part. Going Moretti's, back to the same part of the body. Moretti's accusing him of pulling hair. Now from my vantage point, I saw no hair pulling. I didn't either, and I know you have no love for Ricky Vaughn, but you can see how difficult it is to try and remain neutral up here. Exactly. I get chewed out a lot by the fans saying, why do you take so and so side? I don't. I just try and remain neutral. It's Call real it difficult. Like it is. It's very difficult. Top wrist lock now on Moretti. Still. Ah, good. Man with the mop. It's right. Right. Yeah. Andre takedown by Vaughn. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. These guys are really going at it. Vaughn now working on the left arm still. Moon Dog Moretti driving his knees right into that arm, really doing some damage. Figure four arm bar now on Moretti. Coming down with that big elbow on that same left arm. Really doing a number on Moondog Moretti. Moretti's going to be sorry he ever got into the ring with Ricky Vaughn. Still working on that arm, Jeannie. Hammerlock now. No, no, no. Well, he puts his feet in there, twists and falls backwards. It just uh, Reminiscent of old Jerry Gray. Jerry Gray was a fantastic wrestler, one of the finest the Pacific Northwest has seen in a long time. He is a fantastic wrestler, taught these guys a lot of new moves. I always enjoyed watching him wrestle. He had a lot of interesting moves that most of them don't use. Now, Vaughn just took a thumb to the eyes and a rake across the eye. Sandy Barr is warning him. There's that viciousness rake. coming out in Moretti. Flying Mayor. By Moretti, coming off the rope, down on the forehead with a fist. That rang some bells. 
Ricky Vaughn now, I'm sure, is stunned at the head, but Looking on the head of Ricky Vaughn, Moon Dog Moretti from Boise, Idaho. I'd like to see Moretti put Vaughn over the top rope onto the table. Fighting now on Ricky Vaughn, getting the count from Sandy to break it. That is disgusting. That's beautiful. That's, That's poetry in motion. Well, I must not be into poetry then because that is disgusting. Forearm smash on Moretti by Vaughn. Vaughn coming back again with another one. If you've just joined us, this match in progress, Moon Dog Moretti from Boise, Idaho, is up against the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion, Ricky Vaughn. The belt is not on the line, but Ricky Vaughn is on the floor. Cameraman has got a good shot of Ricky Vaughn being on the floor. I've got Diamond Timothy Flowers sitting next to me this evening for at least a portion of the matches. Bad place for Vaughn to be on the floor, especially with the love for Ricky Vaughn that Diamond Timothy Flowers has. I'm tempted, Jeannie. I'm I very knew you tempted. were tempted. You took your headset off, and I thought, oh, goodness, here it goes. He's Moretti biting him again. again, biting Vaughn. Vaughn once again on the floor. This is an exciting match, and we've got so much more coming up this evening, you aren't going to believe it. A 20 count now going on Ricky Vaughn as he takes a little walk down there. Tries to regain his composure. We got me, Mike Miller, and Carl Steiner going up against the SNS Express. That should be coming up next. Oh, he snaps the rope across his throat. Vaughn's back on the floor. Yes, he is. Vaughn has taken a beating. He spent the last few minutes on the floor. Moretti knows what he did to my head. Moretti knows. Moretti knows. 42 stitches. Moretti and Diamond Timothy Flowers here. Congratulating Moretti on the fine job he's doing on Ricky Vaughn. Listen to the audience supplying that fan power for the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion. And he goes after Moretti. Moretti up against a turnbuckle. Takes a shot across the chest. Into the opposite side. There's a backdrop by Ricky Vaughn, and he's mad. That ring moved a couple inches when Moretti hit that turnbuckle. Yes, it did. Off the ropes and the elbow. Go. And Ricky Vaughn going to work on Moon Dog Moretti. Coming off the rope, going for the drop kick. Already went right over right the top over rope. The rope. Our cameraman's got a shot of Moon Dog Moretti down there. Not a real sturdy barrier down there. Vaughn trying to get him back in, going to pick him up by the throat and drag him back in. Suplexing him right over the top rope. Going for the pin, got him wrapped up. Gets the two count, Moretti kicks Kick out. The crowd would love to see him do a full Nelson. I know he's got other moves, but the crowd loves to see Ricky Vaughn do full Nelson. Oh, Moretti Mor kicks him in the Moretti throat. off the rope, instead of coming back for Vaughn, set up for a backdrop, comes back with a boot to the chin. Moretti now up on the second floor, coming down from the turnbuckle with a fist in the back of the head. And Ricky Vaughn once again is stunned. Vaughn don't know where he's at. Look at his eyes, they're all glassy. They are glassy. Already he's going for the pile driver. That or a belt ring of one of the two. He can't well, get him up. Oh, him. Vaughn backdrops him. Good counter on Vaughn's part. Reverse that hold just big time. He goes for the big slam. Coming down with the elbow right on the chest. Going again for the pin. Got him wrapped up. Gets a two count once again. Already kicks out. Vaughn is mad. Look at the expression on Ricky Vaughn's face. As he takes a rake across the eyes from Moon Dog Moretti. Vaughn now into the turnbuckle. Referee Sandy Barr. See him standing right there in the black and white. Official NWA referee. It's like a new suit for Sandy. Side headlock. There's Moretti going off the rope. Shoulder tackle on Vaughn coming off the other side. Over the top of Vaughn. Coming back. Leap frog by Vaughn. Body slam. Power slam. slam. Power slam. Going this is pin. it. This is it. Gets Ready a three and count. And that is all she wrote. Moretti ain't moving. Ricky Vaughn. He notice he don't want to come to this side of the ring, does he? He walks right back to the dressing room, though. Look at him. Look you at him. That's the people's champion. There goes 
the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion, Ricky Bond, victorious once again, this time over Moon Dog Moretti. Kind of a fast count by we Barr. We've got tag team action coming up. We've got the Russians against Jaggers and Pardee. We've got the Road Warriors against Haynes and Slaughter. And we have the NWO. and Crusher Khrushchev. Crusher Khrushchev. Nikita Koloff did not make it. Ah, which is which? Khrushchev is the one with the flag. Ivan Koloff, former WWF World Champion. And the three Ivan Russians Koloff alive. Koloff and Crusher Khrushchev. Yes. And they are up against Jaggers and Party, who should be coming down the aisle here any moment. Khrushchev and Koloff, along with Nikita Koloff, are the world's six-man tag team champions. Barry Owens has just made the announcement that Billy Jack Haynes has accepted the challenge from Rip Oliver and will stay over through Saturday night here in the Pacific Northwest to meet Oliver at the Portland Sports Arena. The fans are yelling USA, but like I said, with Smirnoff, these Russians just get hotter and hotter at that, and then they take it out on their opponents. Yes, they do. This Ivan Kolos been around many years, and he knows every trick in the book, and I'm sure he's taught Khrushchev the same thing. Ivan standing right here over me, and so is Crusher Khrushchev, I'm telling you. <laughs> Couple of big guys. This is a a good view of what's going on in the ring, but it can get a little scary sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Here comes Here Bobby comes Jaggers, Jaggers and Steve Party. I think Jaggers has got his uh, work cut out for him tonight. I can't tell what kind of music Jaggers has got going, but it sounds like Ave Maria. Yeah. Sticks, sticks. Hangman's a coming, I guess is the name of the song. It still sounds like Ave Maria to me. He doesn't watch out. He's liable to get hung himself. These guys got the Russian sickle. It's, a very, it's a, basically the same thing as the Hangman special. Ivan Kolov, 258 pounds from Russia. His partner is Crusher Khrushchev. Bobby Jaggers now going outside the ring with an American flag. Threatening to hit Ivan Koloff with it. Jaggers looks like the, the poster boy for Save the Whales. Bobby Jaggers and his partner Steve Party from California. Jaggers threatening to put the flag where the sun don't shine to Mr. Koloff. Well, the Russians have their flag too. Bobby Jaggers is mad about that. Bobby Jaggers' new hairdo. He does look a little bit like George Washington, doesn't he? I think he? he looks a little more like Martha. You're real fond of Bobby, aren't you? <laughs> no comment. These Russians look mean. I wonder if they're understanding anything that Sandy Barr is saying. You know, he tried to shop at Fredericks of Hollywood, but they didn't have none to fit him. <laughs> the audience still throwing stuff in. Maybe we can get somebody to make an announcement about tossing stuff into the middle of the ring.
They're probably trying to hit Jaggers, put him out of his misery. Well, wake up, Sandy, and clear the garbage out of the Jaggers, the, the coward that he is, sticks Pardee in there first with the Russians. Okay, first two in, Steve Pardee from California up against Ivan Koloff. Legal men in the ring, locking up, going into the top wrist lock on Steve Pardee. Reversed by Pardee. Pardee now with the top wrist lock on Ivan Koloff. Crusher Khrushchev. Jagger sticking over. his nose in there again where it don't belong. I don't know, Gene. You sound like Hands you like Jagger. Harris Rose. He hit everybody the same way. Can't play favor. Top wrist lock now on Ivan Koloff. You treat everybody the same way, Gene, but Jagger treats everybody like dirt. That's the same. Exactly. The top wrist the wrong lock on Ivan no. Koloff. Handful of Pardee tears and off the rope. The flying body press by oh, Steve Pardee. Steve Pardee comes Gets a across. one and a half count. Pardee going right back to that top wrist lock. Crusher Crusha coming in out of take over Pardee. Sandy Barr did not see the tag. The referee has got to see the tag to make it a legal tag. Now why doesn't Barr make Khrushchev get out? There was no tag. No, there wasn't a tag. In his own mind, you've got to know Candy that. Candy Barr is being told by Bobby Jaggers that there was no tag, but they, Candy Barr is allowing him to stay in. Handful of hair gets party down on the mat. For once, Jaggers didn't lie about the tag. Crusher Crucius has made a mistake at sitting at Bobby Jaggers. Now it is getting a little dumb. I just got hit with some of the garbage the audience is throwing. And the people are intimidating the Russians and they're just going to go berserk and do a number on these guys. It just makes them matter. Handful of Hardee's hair now. Bobby Jaggers is calling Sandy Bar's attention to it. Sandy woke up and caught it. Jaggers now in the ring to jump to the his partner. The tag has not been made, but Steve Pardee doesn't care. He took him on anyway. The tag has not been made over here either. But and, Bobby Jaggers is in. And Parr doesn't make Jaggers get out. Well, he didn't make the Russians get out either. I guess turnabout's fair play. You bet. Like I said, you got to try and stay right in the middle of the road on these things. Parr's not on his toes tonight. It's difficult to referee a tag team matchup. You're right, there should be two referees. Bobby in the ring now. Bobby Jaggers telling the audience, yes, we did tag. Hardy driving his knees into the left arm of Crusher Khrushchev. <laughs> Ivan Koloff now is telling Sandy Barr the tag has never been made. Steve Hardy in the ring. <laughs> Crusher Cruz is standing in for Nikita Koloff, who could not be here. Pardee now up against the ropes. Sandy Barr calling for a break. Pardee takes a knee to the midsection and an uppercut. Reversal into the ropes by Pardee, over the top of Pardee. He stopped dead. Pardee's right behind him, waiting for him. It's not a great takedown by Steve Pardee. Dragging him over, the tag has been made. Hardy and Jagger are showing some good teamwork here. Yes, they are. Oh, Jagger gives Ivan Koloff a big shot in the corner. So I'm smashing the face by Jagger coming off, running into an elbow. Jagger yeah. taking on both. Ivan Koloff Single now. Single taking these guys Back apart. Back up by Jagger. Jagger's going after Krusha. Back to Koloff. going to bump their heads together. The fans won it. Jagger's, Jagger's looks taking good. them both on. Now they're both over with Steve Pardee. I don't like them, man, but Jaggers is doing a number on He's these guys. He's doing a great job. I can't believe the teamwork Jaggers and Pardee got. I don't know if they've ever worked together in a tag match before, but they look good together. Bobby Jaggers, whether you like him or not, works well with just about anybody. He will watch your backside no matter what. He'll do everything he can to help you out. Well, I don't know if I'd want him to watch my backside. Well, if you were his tag team partner, you'd want to know that he was taking care of you. 
Kushik takes a knuckle right in the forehead from Steve Pardee. Jaggers now going after Koloff. I think this match is getting a little out of control here. Typical tag team matchup. They do get out of control. Oh. Having a little fisticuffs here, Bobby Jaggers. Several Jag shots to the face using closed hand, illegal. Jaggers, Jaggers now takes a boot to the chest by Ivan Koloff. <laughs> Jaggers looked better there with those punches than Larry Holmes did. Going for the ping, gets a two count on Jaggers. Jaggers needs to get over and tag Cardi. Ivan Koloff turns his back Come to on, Jaggers. Cardi. Thumb to the throat. A blade thrust by Ivan Koloff. Illegal maneuver, not seen by Sandy Barr. Choking Jaggers now on the second rope. Sandy Barr calling for the break, turning off the opposite side, landing on Bobby Jaggers, choking him on that second rope. Jaggers is dazed, going for the pin. Gets a two count. Jaggers barely kicks out, but he does it. Koloff punishing Jaggers now. I'm going horse fast. Bobby Jaggers coming back with a forearm smash to the midsection and a spot. Heading for his partner now. Needs to stay Steve Pardee. The tag has been made. Koloff is the legal man out. Chris is the legal man in. Here There's comes a body Pardee. slam. Pardee coming in to help his partner. He's going after Koloff. Sandy Barr is taking on Pardee. While Chris takes off, takes on Bobby Jaggers. Somewhat of a flying mare. Reverse chin lock now by Crusher Kirchhoff. He's got that knee right in the back. It's his double pain now. Yes, he is. Pushing on that neck. The crowd trying to give the fan power. Screaming USA at Bobby Jaggers and Crusher Kirchhoff. Jaggers and Party look impressive against these big Russians. Yes, they do look impressive. Very impressive. I'm totally surprised. With a big shot to the chest by Bobby Jaggers going to tag his partner. Oh, Khrushchev. Oh. Khrushchev interferes, knocks Pardee right off of the mat. Pardee's on the floor. There goes Jaggers over the top rope. Jaggers now. over the top rope, he's on the floor. Yeah, that was about a 10.0 on the Richter scale. I'm sure they felt that one back in the Big Apple. Not realizing that we have that fancy microphone and a shotgun mic. Cardi now going after Krusha. Koloff just put a boot to Jaggers' head. Jaggers is back on the floor. Jaggers is the legal man in with pressure Krusha. He's got a 20 count to get back in the ring. He could very easily be counted out. Cardi trying to protect his partner so he can get back in the ring. While he's watching Krusha, Koloff is taking steps to keep Jaggers from coming back in. <laughs> Jaggers looks in pretty bad shape. Man. He does, but I see him come back from work. I'm waiting for that head of his to come up, and it's very tender. Yes, it is. A lot of scar kicks on Bobby Jaggers. Oh, oh, big Bobby elbow. turns around big with that elbow. big elbow of the hangman, oh, and that man. just flattens him. Bobby Jaggers in a surprise move turns around and nails Krusha right in the jaw with that elbow of his. Now Koloff Koloff comes in. This guy's a wrestling technician. He moves. Oh! Takes the rope to the groin area. Rattles the rope. This could be the match right here. Why doesn't Jaggers go? Oh, he's right back. trying to get up enough strength to get over the tag. Steve Party has not been able to cover it yet. A reverse one with a turnbuckle. It shows Jaggers you what heart. It shows you what heart this Russian's got after that groin shot. Pull off that right up and right after Jaggers again. Oh, there he goes, another one, another one. Now Jaggers is out of the Steve Party now coming in, going in. Now Party drops a leg on the groin. Taking on Ivan Koloff. Oh, unbelievable. Double headbutt. Unbelievable. Koloff off the ropes, runs into an elbow. Party. Party now. Koloff off the ropes, runs into Party. Body slam by Party coming down with the elbow on the chest. Steve Party going to work on Ivan Koloff. 
not giving him any mercy whatsoever. Pull off off the ropes is Days. A double stretch is Kabir. Raise your back. This is a legal cover. Why isn't but there goes Bart account one two. There's a three. Three. Start. There it is. And there it is. Illegal double team, and the Russians have come out victorious in this match. You can tell the audience is not at all amused by this. While Sandy Barr was in talking to Bobby Jaggers, getting him out of the ring, Steve Party was double teamed. Well, Pardee and Jaggers, even though uh, they got beat, uh, a very, very impressive showing. Excellent match. Excellent match. Steve Pardee and Bobby Jaggers should not have lost that match, at least not that way. It just proves to tell you. Uh, the Russians have been declared victorious. Evil prevails. Yeah. And that is just one of the tag team matches. We still have the Miller-Steiner connection against the Ashness Express coming up, along with the Road Warriors against Haynes and Slaughter. I as think, the 60th anniversary of the Owens family continues. I think Jaggers wants a little more here from the Russian guys. I think so. Diamond Timothy Flowers and me, Jeannie St. James, will be right back with more of this extravaganza in just a minute. <laughs> Nasty, dirty, low-down look, which could put look the belts right behind the races. Just bounces right over. Sandy Barr here, holding the belt. This match could decide who is going to have them. They have been held up by the NWA. The Pacific Northwest Tag Team Championship. The belts are on the line. Barry Owen has just announced it. All right. Neither side is a challenger. As far as I know. Introducing on my left the team of me, Mike Miller, and Carl Steiner. Definitely the superior team. 253 pounds. Me, Mike Miller, the Louisiana Mauler. 245 from They're East Germany. Opponent. Carl Steiner. One of the hottest the teams in the country, champion. the SNS Express, Jeff and Joseph Odie and Steve Here they are, probably the hottest tag team in the NWA today, the SNS Express. They've come a long way in a short period of time. Yes, they have. Steve Simpson and Jumpin' Joseph Oldie. I don't care too much for them, but i got to give them to them. They've come a long way. In just a couple matches, they managed to get those belts held up, and now they're going for the belts here tonight. And Steiner and Miller got that evil look in their eye. Yes, they do. They're going to be tough to beat tonight. I can see that. Yes, they are. So, Holy and Simpson, they look psyched, though. Steiner and Miller right above us. Miller pacing like a caged animal.
I should give these belts to Miller and Spenner right now. They're the rightful champions. This match will decide who is the champion. We're just going to see what Savoli and Simpson are made of tonight. Yes, we are. Now, since nobody holds the belt, a disqualification could give the belt to the other team. No, no disqualification. It's got to be a... But nobody holds the belt right now. It so. doesn't matter. They have to be pinned or submission to win the belt. That's governed by NWA rules. Have they changed them for this one, do you think? I've seen them change before. I've never seen belts change on a disqualification. I, I, haven't, to... I haven't seen them change, but considering nobody holds them. I have seen that happen before here in the Pacific Northwest when nobody's held the belt. The winner got it no matter how he won. Well, must Mike have been Miller a in match. the ring with Jumpin' Joe Savoldi. The Louisiana Mauler. Savoldi surprised him, goes behind and rolls him up. Yeah, Miller going right for the ropes. Savoldi and Simpson look very psyched up for this one. They are, they want those bills. They look hungry. Cannot say as I blame them. Meet Mike Miller locking up with Savoldi. Side headlock now by Miller on Savoldi. One half of the s and Express, probably the hottest tag team to hit the NWA. Simpson looks like he needs a haircut over there. He's got the things tied around his arms and his legs. He had to tie his hair up with him. Miller off the rope, shoulder tackle on Savoldi. Leapfrog by Savoldi, coming back with an arm drag takedown. And again, and Simpson takes on Miller as Miller heads to the wrong corner. Miller now on the outside, taking a 20-count walk. Savoldi and Simpson come out like a ball of fire, no doubt about it. Yes, they do. Miller and Steiner right by us here. It's not over yet. Oh, no, it's not over till the fat lady sings. And she could be singing the blues for the SNS Express. She could be, or for the Miller-Steiner connection. SNS Express, like I said, probably the hottest new tag team around. A fire can be put out within a matter of moments. That's true. Top wrist lock now on Miller. Savoldi twisting on that arm. Tag has been made. Legal man in, Steve Simpson. Savoldi's out. Simpson's in with Louisiana Mahler. Miller with a handful of Simpson's hair. Caught by Sandy Barr. Sandy's giving him four count. Break it. Miller not even going to give a clean break. Far smash across the chest. One across the back of the neck. Simpson again with that top wrist lock. Working on the left arm of me, Mike Miller. Side headlock now on Miller by Simpson. Simpson been working up, picked up a lot of muscle tone since he first came to the uh, Northwest. He's really built his body Steiner up. pacing right above us here. Simpson off the rope, over the top of Miller. Good hip toss by Simpson. Side headlock now on Miller. Miller's got him turned over, going for the pin. Sandy wasn't down there in time. He didn't even get a count on him. Sandy Barr is off tonight as usual. Side headlock now still on me, Mike Miller. The Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Tag Team Belts are on the line for this. The winners of this match will be the Pacific Northwest Tag Team Champion. Sandy Barr is just like the guy that sells balloons in the circus tonight. Sandy Barr is one of the most respected referees in the NWA. Did you know that? Not by me, he's not respected. Well, a lot of the wrestlers don't like him. It's difficult being a, a referee just like it is being an announcer. Trust me on this one. Side headlock still by Simpson on the Louisiana Mauler. Me, Mike Miller, the one-time Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Champion. Pumping on that head, and the crowd is giving him all the encouragement he needs. Look at Miller. He's dazed. He's forearm smash to the chest. He's there to tag his partner. Here comes Steiner. Steiner's first time in the ring. Miller needs the rest. Steiner in up against Steve Simpson. Simpson and Savola have been going back and forth. If you remember, more. Steiner has gone on a rampage. He's injured several wrestlers. He's a fresh guy against two uh, semi-worn out guys. That's true. And he's taken over right away with the big boots of the gut. A drop kick by Simpson on the European heavyweight champion, Carl Steiner. Side headlock, working on it, pumping on it. Audience 
Everyone's giving him all the encouragement. They're counting for him. Drop kick now by Simpson and Steiner's day. Steiner's eyes are crossed. He don't know what day it is right now. No, he doesn't. That's a difficult one to go through, isn't it? The side headlock when they're talking on it. If those brains are boggled, all you don't know right. what you're doing. He's Simpson. lost. He's going to the wrong corner to tag. He's for a Mike Miller tag, and there is no Mike Miller in that particular corner. Savoli caught him with a fist of jaw there. Both the men coming off the ropes runs into an elbow of Savoli. Savoli's going right back after him, working on the arm again. Top wrist lock on Carl Steiner. Good takedown. Steiner going for the ropes. Going to call for a break. Miller, of course, trying to kick Savoli while he's got him there. Candy bar right there, breaks it up. Steiner in the corner, just staring at Savoldi. Savoldi's giving Steiner too much time to recover. He had him going and he's letting him uh, get his mind he's together. He's letting him off, yep. Savoldi now, up against the turnbuckle. Yes. Candy bar calling for the break. Not a clean one. Not by Carl Steiner, no way. Handful of all these hairs and flying into the opposite turnbuckle. Steiner coming after him, takes a turnbuckle in the midsection as a headlock takedown by Savoldi. Miller coming in to help out his partner. Sandy Barr catches it, sends him back out. Simpson on his side. Miller still in the ring. Sandy Barr just gotten him outside now. On the mat, side headlock on Steiner by Savoldi. Mike Miller pacing right above us. Side headlock still by Savoldi. If you've just joined us, the match in progress, the Miller-Steiner connection. Mean Mike Miller and Carl Steiner are up against the newest thing in the NWA, Leapfrog. Going to that side headlock again. The hottest team in the NWA today, the Aston Express. Jumping Joe Savoldi, who's in the ring with Carl Steiner and his partner, Steve Simpson. Steiner just and gets drop kick over the top rope. Miller comes in, gets drop kick by Savoldi. Savoldi's taking them both on there. They're both on the floor by drop They kicks. are both on the floor, and the Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Tag Team belts are on the line. So the winner of this match is going to have those belts. All uh, right, at this point, I gotta say, I gotta change my prediction. It could go either way. I gotta look at our timekeeper and say, aren't they? They've been stolen before. This time I'm protecting him, though. Nobody's going to steal those belts. Nope. Side headlock by Steiner on Savoldi. In the wrong corner, Mike Miller is right there. Sandy Barr warning Miller to keep his hands off. Miller's not touching Savoldi. He's trying, but Sandy Barr is on it, believe it or not. Oh, Carl Steiner looking around to see where his opponent is. Was nowhere. Now he's back in the side headlock in the hands of Jumpin' Joseph Oldy. Tag has been made. Legal man in is Steve oh, Simpson. Off the top rope onto Steiner's head. Steiner's taking a lot of punishment to yes, the head. Yes, he is. There. Here comes Miller and Savoldi. Savoldi and Simpson showing some great teamwork. Sandy Ball with his back turned to Miller. Bad thing to do. Pumping on the head again of Carl Steiner. Still the European heavyweight champion and not doing too well in the Pacific Northwest tonight. Steiner's going to have to corner the market on Excedrin or Tylenol tonight after all the punishments taken to his head. I hope to shout. <laughs> the fans encouraging Steve Simpson to kick him right in the midsection, which Steve did. Side headlock again. I'm Carl Steiner. Steve Simpson going to town. His know. partner, jumping Joe Savoldi, giving all the encouragement from the sideline. Oh, big knee by Miller and Simpson's back. Miller runs over as Steiner throws Simpson off the ropes, and he takes Miller's knee in the mid-back. I love it. I love it. Beautiful move. Beautiful. Crafty. Very. All of those things. 
Now, what's Savoldi doing there? He's got no business in there. Steve Simpson going over the top ropes, the hands of Mike Miller. Miller's going to do some kind of punishment on Steve Simpson. Savoldi now going out to help his partner keep Miller and Steiner away. I think Steiner and Miller. Got to give Simpson and Savoldi credit. They back each other up every There's time. There's 10 minutes gone in this match. 30. 30 minute long match. 10 minutes of it are gone. He's still 20 hot Jim minutes Jim just bought a chair. No, he bought the pole. Savoli's going after Savoli's Miller. Savoli's taking on Miller right by us. I mean right by us. And let me tell you something, Mike Miller's a brawler. He ain't going to back off from nobody. Yes, he is a brawler. Miller and Steiner do what it takes to win. Mike Miller has gone underneath the apron. He's holding something in his hand. I'll tell you what, so Simpson and Savoli don't look uh, I just took some more like garbage championship in the material at the moment. No, uh, Simpson's a legal man in the ring, Jeannie. Neither side looks all that good. Mike Miller has a foreign Oh, The backbreaker. Here comes Miller off the top here. Miller's coming down. This could be it. Whoa. I have seen them do Whoa. Before. Bar didn't see it. What you can't see, you can't call. Bar did not see it. That was beautiful. Beautifully I have executed. seen the Miller Steiner connection pulled out before. Steiner does the backbreaker. Miller comes off the top rope right down on their neck. Simpson's lost in space. At the yes, moment. he is right now. There it goes. Oh, Miller. Oh. The Simpson is in trouble. Steiner, right he across needs the to tag his partner, Jumpin' oh. Joseph Oldie. They're getting nasty to each other here. Yes, they are. About 12 minutes gone in this 30-minute match. Savoldi trying to get the fans going for Simpson. They need it. He's bouncing. He's applauding. He's doing anything he can. Simpson's in big trouble right now. Steiner and Miller are rolling. If I ever catch the clown who's throwing the garbage over here, they're going to be in big trouble. Well, I think you got about six or 7,000 of them here. That's wonderful. <laughs> Just wonderful. Simpson trying to tag Savoldi. Miller coaching Savoldi out of the corner, and there goes Simpson to tag, and there's no Savoldi! Savoldi needs to get back to his corner to tag Simpson, who now is not there. Bad move by Joe Savoldi. Smart move by Miller. Must exactly. I hate to admit it, he knew what he was doing. He coaxed him out of the corner because Simpson was starting to gain on Steiner, so Steiner let him have his little edge for a minute. Go over where there was no partner. That's years of experience talking Yes, it right is. There. Just the little things that Simpson make you a champion. Simpson is in trouble. Simpson needs Big clothesline. Simpson needs to take the holding. Oh. Big clothesline by the main man. Steiner and Miller looking Steiner like a Miller, possibility they wrap it for up here. the tag team champion. Right. Simpson off the rope. Body slam by Miller. Miller coming back down with that elbow. elbow. If he can get into that pinning combination One. on Simpson, it'll be all over. Get the two count. Sandy Bar's counting like somebody's grandmother tonight. Kind of slow. If Miller can get into that pinning combination of his, there's a side hit box by Miller. Jumping Joseph Oldie trying to get the fans going for Steve Simpson. Simpson is dazed. He's tired. He's too tired to push Miller to his corner to tag. It says it all on Miller's trunks. The West Best, they've dominated tag team action for a long time. Yes, they have. And it looks like they're going to keep Steve on doing Simpson it. Steve Simpson has reversed that side headlock. Going off the ropes now. Over the top of Miller. Over the top again. Both men down. Out. Simpson needs to tag Savoldi. Miller needs to tag Steiner. Savoldi's going crazy like he's he Jack is, Nicholson in the nut house over here. He's going nuts. He is. He's going absolutely bonkers. Miller looks needs like, to tag Steiner. Like, Simpson calling for Savoldi gets so close. He gets so far away. That's just the toughness of Miller coming up before Simpson. Simpson. Right into the boot of Carl Steiner by Louisiana Muller, me, Mike Miller. There comes Steiner now. Steiner's coming on with it. Simpson coming back with a show of strength. Where he's getting it, I don't know. Forearm smash on Carl Steiner. 
The belts are on the line. Both teams know it. From nowhere, Steve Simpson has come up with a burst of energy. Simpson's coming out Simpson of nowhere. Simpson now on the wrong side. But Miller's got him over here on the road. Miller's got him with the fingers in the eyes. The Boldy's <laughs> coming over to help him while he's being put back in his corner. Simpson's going to be double teamed. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Both men. Fine double Glad team work there. Remaining, 15. The match is half over. 15 minutes gone, 15 remaining. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. I could win the belt. I'd like to see that. So would a lot of people. Front face lock now by Mike Miller on Steve Simpson. Carl Steiner showing off his partner, mean Mike Miller of the Miller Steiner Connection. Simpson with a show of strength, a burst of energy, pushing for his partner. Miller with a handful of trunks gets him away from his corner, brings him back over to Steiner. Candy Barr warning Steiner to keep his hands off the man in the ring. It's still Miller and Simpson, legal men in, forearm smash by Miller. Simpson's kind of rubber leg there. There's a boot to the midsection. If I know Miller, he's going to try and weaken him enough for his pinning combination. Miller gets that Russian leg sweep and the next breaker put together, and nobody's walked away from it yet. Oh, well, Simpson Savoli got a couple finishing maneuvers by Miller and Steiner, and I don't know if they can handle a third one. We'll have to see. Here comes Simpson. Off the ropes. Oh! Put a the chin on Steiner. Simpson needs to get over and tag Savoli. He's going to be blocked again by Steiner. Excitement reigns on, does it not? Through the legs, Simpson goes, makes the tag. Here comes Savoli. He's getting that Steiner going. Pick on Steiner. Miller's coming in to help him. Oh, he hits Miller. Miller's taking a shot. Drop kick on Steiner. And then a one on Miller. And a drop kick to Steiner. Savoli going after Steiner. Here they go. They're going to it now. Yes, they are. So they're going to throw them together here. Oh, Miller and Steiner stop across the them. eyes by Steiner on Savoli. Oh, no, she does. Double drop move. kick. Double drop kick. Surprise move by the Yes and Yes they, turn the they go after Steiner and Miller. Legal men in, I believe, are Savoli <laughs> and Steiner. Yes, ma'am. Hard to keep track of them. The action's hot and heavy. Steve Simpson. Oh, close line from Joe Savoli. A Simpson holding him. him. Savoli coming Big down. Big splash. This could be it. Going for the pin. Wake Five. up, Sandy. Two, three. That's we got it. new champions. We got new champions. We got new champions. Unbelievable. New if tag I didn't see it, champions. I wouldn't believe it. The new Pacific Northwest Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. What is that? I don't the believe it. The new tag team champions, the s, s Express. I don't believe it, Jeannie St. James. And the beat goes on. Outstanding. Dire straight. Money for nothing. They I got it. The s, s Express, the new Pacific Northwest heavyweight tag team champion. And that is just the beginning of some of the fun we got in store for you this evening. we got more tag team action coming up I in don't just a minute. It. I thought we were going to be having another tag team. Look at this. We've got the Magnum TA Rick Flair matchup. <laughs> should be an excellent match, G. It should be a great match. Magnum TA has gone all over the world to fight Flair. I got to meet there. Oh, look at Flair's robe. Oh, my goodness. Flat what do they call him ever. Flair? He's got such a Flair. Slick Rick. Magnum T.A. and Ric Flair. All right. Look at that. 
but he's got a whole new outfit. He looks great. So does Megan Pierre. Okay. This next event will be one fall to a 30-minute time limit for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship. This is going to be good. The Introducing NWA World Heavyweight Championship match. On my left, weighing 242 pounds okay, huh? from North Carolina, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Rick Flair. There he is, Rick Flair, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. His opponent and challenger on my right, weighing 242 pounds from Virginia, Magnum D.A. There's the challenger. 242 pounds, Magnum T.A. Nothing he wants more than the 10 pounds of gold that Ric Flair has held around his waist for, I believe it's somewhere in the vicinity of 43 months now that he's been defending this. With the exception of 19 days when Kerry Von Erich held it. Should be a fantastic match. This should here. be a great match. Magnum C.A. is a very hungry young man. And, uh, yes, he is. I think he's He's traveled 3,000 miles to get that belt from Ric Flair. Flair's a... He's a very popular individual here in the Pacific Northwest. He's a very smart Chevy. I'm sure he knows what he's up against right here in Magnum Oh, CA. I'm sure he does. He considers Magnum T.A. quite an opponent, from what I understand. That's the closest Sandy Barr's ever going to get to a title belt, is holding it in his hands. Possibly. Magnum T.A. and Ric Flair. This is going to be great. You can feel the excitement down here, yeah. There's Ric Flair and the Flair strut. <laughs> oh, I love it. You better not strut too We've long. seen him do it to every opponent he's come up against. Locking up. Flair up against the rope. Off the opposite side. Shoulder tackle on CA. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Magnum CA Magnum is putting for that belly to belly suplex. Stopped suplex. him dead. He was waiting for the belly to belly suplex. Could have put Flair right down and out. One smart individual Rick here. Ric Flair is an outstanding champion. Side headlock now by Magnum T.A. on Ric Flair. He defends that belt every time he gets in the ring. Against all comers. Unlike other champions in other alliances, shall we say. Mm -hmm. He never gets into the ring unless he's defending his belt. That's the way a champion should be. Uh, yes, it is. Defended against all comers. And he does it, you know, five, six, seven days a week. Every week. 65 days a year. Very rarely gets a day off. Unbelievable champion being challenged by an unbelievable opponent, Magnum T.A. And the NWA World Heavyweight Belt is on the line. Magnum T.A. now, figure four armbar on the champion, Ric Flair. <laughs> Magnum T.A. still with the arm bar on Flair. Flair's got a great style. He lets his opponent wear, him, wear themselves out. I don't think he's going to do that in this case, He GD. takes it and takes it and takes it. Magnum T.A. looks in fine physical condition. Although Ric Flair looks in better shape than he's ever looked before. Yes, he does. He's been working out. Side headlock now on Magnum T.A. Flair with the upper hand. And either man is a slot. Into a hammerlock. Ah! Reversed by Magnum T.A. Magnum T.A. now. Flair with his opponent down. Front face lock. T.A. reverses it. Gets a hammerlock. Now this is wrestling. Pure scientific wrestling. 
Yes, it is. Sometimes they criticize Ric Flair about not being scientific enough. He's showing it right here tonight. Yes, he is. He's an excellent, excellent champion. This is a Unbelievable match. Unbelievable match. Magnum T.A. has got an opportunity a lot of guys would like to have going for that 10 pounds of gold. Yes, he does. I know that every single one of you guys here in the Pacific Northwest wouldn't mind getting a shot at that. Not at all. Would you mind? Yeah, I would not want to get <laughs> <laughs> the pudding knocked out of me by Ric Flair. You guys have a much better shot at taking that belt away from me than I do. I don't know. Maybe you could get him in a submission hole. It's entirely possible. <laughs> Ric Flair, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion against the challenge of Magnum TA, a man who's traveled 3,000 miles to take that gold away from him. Little show of strength here by Flair. No, backing off. I'm sure Flair's got his game plan down. He knows exactly what he's doing. Every you bet he breath, does. Every drop you of bet sweat he does. and movement he makes. You bet he does. He knows exactly what's going on. Good move by Flair. And he drives his shoulder right into his opponent's shoulder. Top wrist lock by Flair on Magnum. Coming down now the left arm up the champ. Figure four arm bar by Magnum TA on the champ. You can see the pain on Ric Flair's face. And the NWA World Heavyweight Belt is on the line. Ric Flair, Magnum T.A., both going for the gold. Flair defending it, T.A. going after it. Unbelievable match. And this is not even the finale for this evening. This is yet one of our double main events. <laughs> T.A. now up against the turnbuckle. Sandy Barr calling for a clean break from the, the champ, Ric Flair. Flair in a new color. Used to wear red. Side headlock, headlock takedown by the champ, Ric Flair. Going for a count. Come on, put him out. Asking Tanny Barr to count him. Gets a two count. Can't count him if those shoulders ain't down. No, he can't. Tanny was checking it. Hey, watch it tight. Sandy will wake up. By Magnum T. Rick Flair telling Sandy Barr how to referee a match. Somebody ought to. Uh, who better than the NWA World Heavyweight Champion? Beautiful. Rick Flair. Slick Rick. Yes. The 60 Minute Man. Rick Flair. Magnum TA. Headlock takedown by Flair. Hand scissors now by Magnum. Lot riding on this. The man that walks away from this ring with that belt is going to have to fulfill the contract that goes along with it, no matter where it takes them. A tough and grueling schedule. It's a grueling schedule. Look at Ric Flair. His face is red. You can see the veins standing out in his shoulders. He is in a bad position by Magnum TA. Magnum going for the gold. Flair coming right out here with us. Tell you what, neither one of these guys mess around when they get in there. It's all business. You bet it is. Hey! Holes and broken. You break the holes. Rick Flair telling Sandy Barr how to referee. He's great. He's just great. They'd probably be better off with no referee in there. He just threatened Sandy man. Barr with his job. Told him he didn't watch it. When he gets his feet under the rope, he's looking for a new job tomorrow. He's the man. Going for a suplex blocked by Magnum TA. Blocked again. Rick Looks Flair. like Flair's getting a little frustrated. He's got his hands full. 
Magnum TA has gone after him on several occasions. He wants that belt. He figures Flair's had it long enough. Funny long. Ric Flair, Magnum TA, going for the gold. The expression in their eyes, they're both so intense. I think Flair's a little bit concerned about Magnum TA. Just a little. Side headlock. Magnum TA pulls out of it. Look at the power in Magnum TA's arms. There's a handful of hair. Gets Magnum TA down. Magnum's hot. Magnum's Flair hot. Flair goes for the rope. He steps out. You want to fight Flair up? Right here, Daddy. Right here. Yeah, right here. They're great. Rick Flair is great. Right here, Daddy. Flair's not going to come out of that corner until he um, releases those fists. Illegal, of course. Of course, five years ago, Magnum TA was Terry Allen right here in the Pacific Northwest. Got his start from Don Owen. That's what the TA stands That's for. That's what the Jeez, TA Terry stands Allen. for. I talked to him before the match, interviewed him. That's what he told me. Magnum Terry Allen. Magnum TA. Flair's backing up a little now. He's getting outside the ropes. I'll tell you. Come on. Use your eyes. He knows what he did. I think Flair's a little concerned. You can see right a now. handful of hair in Magnum's hand. Look at that. Now you gotta wonder whose hair that is. I think Flair's trying to outsight Magnum at this point. I'm sure he is. Asking for Sandy to call off Magnum TA. Magnum's getting Sandy upset. Does. Magnum's getting upset. The wrong this move. Is, this is Flair's style. He knows how to strike him. He knows what he's doing. Locking up again. Yeah. Side headlock now by Flair. Handful of Magnum there. Sandy's going to check on it. Of course, missed it. Side headlock still on Flair. Of course, it's not fair, but you have a favorite. Magnum off the rope, shoulder tackle on Flair. Coming back again over the top of Flair. Leap frog by Flair. Turns around. Hip toss by Magnum TA. Oh, press slam. Uh, press slam. Whoa. Well, that hurt Flair. That hurt yes, Flair. Did. He's got Flair in the corner. Nope. And Flair's Flair's going to take a walk. Smart gets out and gets his stuff together. Rick Flair taking a walk. But get on the stick, buddy. Rick Flair even yelling at the timekeeper. That's Flair. That's Rick Flair for you. Taking a walk at a 20 count to get back in the ring. He's going to take every second of it. Now he's going to talk to the audience. Sandy Bar right Magnum. above us. Magnum gets Magnum. out. Rick Flair still taking his walk. Magnum's out till the count starts over. Magnum's got gut com guts coming out after Flair. Of course, the minute Magnum steps outside that ring, the count stops. Rick Flair wants that break. Wants a little break in the action. Locking up again. Magnum up against the turnbuckle. Flair with a couple of good chops to the chest. Forearm smash by Ric Flair on Magnum TA, the challenger. Exciting match. There goes Magnum between the ropes. Oh, he's and right back, back up, back folks. Right back. I think Ric Flair's a little bit surprised by that. Ric Flair now taking a beating by Magnum TA. Magnum wanting that gold. Hip toss. Drop kick by Magnum TA. Flair's rocking and rolling. Flair calling for mercy. Flair calling for mercy. Forearm smash by Magnum. Sandy Bar stops him because Flair is in the turnbuckle. When he stopped Magnum, he Good gave move by Flair. Flair gave him a knee. I think it was a low blow, but he's denying it. Didn't look low to me, right in the midsection. 
Sandy Barr is threatening to give the belt to Magnum TA. Blair's yelling no. Blair still working. Flying there, snap there. Oh, oh. Who's got a chance? Oh. Rick Blair. That'll knock the wind out of you. Yeah, it will. That'll teach you to get in my way, buddy. You get 240 pounds of Ric Flair jumping on your chest, you know you've been jumped on. Magnum now going for the ropes, right above us. Magnum's midsection is oh. There goes a knee. Oh, to knee to the midsection by Flair. <laughs> snapmare, one-handed snapmare by... Ric Flair, yeah. Don't you love it? He is great. Coming down now on Magnum's forehead with a knee. Claire knows who he's up against. He's tackled Magnum TA before. Magnum is dazed. Definitely dazed. Confused is more like it. Another shot to the throat. I felt that one. Claire going for the pin. Gets a two count. Magnum kicks out. Magnum out on the floor. Flair going right out after him. Yes, he is indeed. What is he going to do to him out there? Drive his shoulder oh, into the ring post. Him into the post. Is that a flare maneuver? I've never seen him do big one like chop, that before. Big chop. Great big chop. Here comes Flair. Here comes Flair. Back in the ring, Magnum T.A. still on the ground. Candy pushing Flair off as long as Flair is over there by the ropes to count up. Flair. Flair is taking on Sandy Barr. I'll tell you what, Barr ain't no contender for the world champion. No. Nope. Not by a long shot. Rick Flair now, elbow on the forehead of Magnum T.A. And again, Magnum is down. Bar keeps messing with Flair. I'm telling you, there's no match for him. Maybe Bar's a match for Mickey Mouse, that's about it. He's got a real fondness for Sandy Bart, I'm telling you. Probably the same fondness that we've got for him. Oh. 15 minutes, man. There's 16 minutes left in this match. Time becoming a factor. Oh. There's a boot right underneath the arm, and he was pulling the top wrist lock on. Rich Flair does not want to lose that gold, and he knows that Magnum T.A. is a prime contender for it. There's a forearm match by Magnum. The crowd's going crazy. They would like to see the gold chain hands in Portland. You seem to like Rich Flair, Jeans. I like them both. The you think is Magnum T.A. would be a fine world champion? There it is. A roll up. A roll up. Oh, Jeans. Oh, Jeans. Oh, Flair. No, I like them both. Flair's an excellent champion, and I think that Magnum will make a great champion, too. That's why he's the world's heavyweight champion. I have champion. seen him not submit to figure four leg locks. I have seen him not submit to full Nelson. The man is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The move that Ric Flair is patent. Magnum T.A. has got it he's out. He's got the rope. Sandy, Sandy Bar kicks his hand off the rope. He should have broke the hold, Jeannie. He should have broke the hold. Champion. He's kicking. He's pulling him over to the ropes now. Now Sandy has no choice. He's got to break the hold. I'm surprised he doesn't Rick try Flair to shoot him or something. Rick Flair able to get the hold broken. Sandy Barr kicks his head. He should have broke the hold the Rick first time. Rick Flair needs to take a walk around the ring. I don't think he can walk after the figure four. A call around the ring. He's got to be in pain. 
Magnus going for it again. Magnus going for it. He doesn't get it though. No, Flair picks it off. Flair picks it off. Rick Flair out of the ring. Standing champion, just outstanding. Magnum T.A. would be a great one too, then. You know? Unbelievable. Flair I love seeing somebody hold the belt as long as Flair's holding it. Oh, thumb to the eye. But I would also like to see the belt change hands in Portland. You know, what can you say? An historic event if it did. Rick Flair limping now after his opponent, Magnum T.A. Magnum off the rope. Just under Flair comes back. Oh! Magnum T.A. on the floor. <laughs> Rick Flair still in the ring and still favoring his left leg. Oh. Rick Flair, an outstanding Flair champion. The audience trying to give the fan power to Magnum T.A. to get him on his feet. Flair's legs hurt, though. Look at him limp. Look at him limp. Look at him limp, you bet. But he never gives up. No, he doesn't. Bears him in. Right over the top rope. Man is incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. He isn't. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh. Wondering what he was gonna do. <laughs> Trying to soften to, up the legs for his own figure four. Tries to that. jump down and do some damage to the hand string of Magnum T.A. and Magnum T.A. moves. There's 10 minutes left. Time is a factor. Flair off the turnbuckle. Comes back into the elbow of Magnum T.A. Magnum gets in the Flair is down. Oh. He Magnum is goes. down and Magnum T.A. is going in for the kill. Magnum's fired up. But I've seen Flair come out of it before. Good backdrop. Magnum goes through that belly to belly suplex, it could be all over for Rick Flair. I have never seen the belly to belly suplex. Oh, he's the best at Oh, shot to the stomach. Rick Flair coming back. Backslide. 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 Now who's going to get Both it? Both men going for it. Both Looks like Magnum's got it. Magnum's got it. Oh. Down, go for the two. Two counting. No. Two and 99 yes. percent there. I can't stand it. <laughs> Unbelievable. One hundredth of a count for Flair's got him. Flair's got his foot on the rope. Oh, Flair don't see it. That's a three count. That's a three count. No. No, he's saying no. Sandy caught it. Oh, he caught him. He caught him. I don't like Barbara. Give the three count. Put it to him. Magnum is just really going to nail him now. Flair on the turnbuckle. Oh, knee. knee to the gut there. Magnum the runs into the knee of Ric Flair. Flair down, down two. two. Sandy counting on both men. Ric Flair's trying to get up. He's got eight minutes left. Flair knows time's a factor. He wants to hang on to his gold. He's made the commitment to those that felt he wants to keep it. I told you, I've seen him pull out of submission holes before. Uh, the man does not submit. The man just does not submit. Is that a he's cobra? getting pretty droggy there. Is that a cobra? That's a sleeper hold. And Magnum's got it in there tight, too. Flyer's arms are getting droopy. He's yes, they are. Knees. Sandy will start to check those arms. If it drops three times, it's all over. Flair going for the ropes. Sandy leaning on the ropes to keep him away from it. Now, why is Barr doing that? I Barr think has no right to do that. When a going man for the needs... pin. It's a two count. When a man needs Flair to puts his the foot rope. over the rope. When a man reaches the ropes, he should break the hole. Instead of pushing the ropes away so he can't hold them. He should. He just took his foot off the rope and told Magna to proceed. I see incompetence of Sandy Barr. Body slam by Magnum on Flair. Magnum going for the gold, coming down. Oh. Right into the knees of Ric Flair, right in the bread Flair. basket. Oh. The midsection has just felt the full force of Ric Flair's knees. 
Magnum's hurting, Jeannie. Yes, he is. He's winded. Woo. He is winded. <laughs> I'm sure Rick Frost had complete advantage of it. Going for a suplex here. Suplex. He blocks it. By Magnum. Blocks it. Magnum's going for it. Magnum's got it. He's got him up. Whoa. Rick Flair Flair's about Flair. to lose his gold. Gets a two count, crosses Magnum TA. I can't stand this. I just can't stand this. Back and forth, the tables keep turning. Magnum's, Magnum's out. With six minutes left. Six minutes left in the match. Rick Flair limping. Both men are exhausted. Jimmy. Yes, they are. Have you ever seen a championship match where both men weren't exhausted? We're going at it. That's the it. money, the prestige that goes along with that belt. Unbelievable. Rick Flair going after Magnum K. Magnum K. He's trying to hold on. He's trying to hold on. He's going down. There goes Flair. Magnum's got it down. Gets his ears popped by Flair. I can't Flair stand it. Flair that every inch of the way. Yes, he did. Five minutes left. Time of the essence. Time of the essence. Five minutes left. Side headlock. Figure four. Figure four. Figure four. Figure four. Play. This could be it for Magnum this is, TA. This could be. It could be. This could be a submission for Magnum TA. Let's he cannot be Magnum can take him like Flair did, though. Nobody can take him like Flair. I don't know. Magnum TA not submitting. He's not giving up. He's not submitting. He's got that hungry look, Jeannie, on his face. He does. He wants that gold. Rick Flair going for a submission. Give him credit. Take okay. your four leg lock. He's fighting it. He's fighting, He's fighting it. He's going to turn it over. He's going to turn him. Oh, gee. Rick Flair. Flair. It's a figure four oh, reverse. They're both out of it. They're out of it. Flair's got four minutes left. Four minutes remaining. So Magnum's going. Oh, there goes Flair. He's going, He's going again. again. He's going again. Magnum. Small oh, package. Small package. Small package. Two count, and he oh. kicks out. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. There goes Mag Magnum the outside the ropes. Just about three minutes left in this match. Flair goes out after Magnum. Magnum. Oh, first. Oh, we're to the post. Ring post and Into Flair the takes post. it to the forehead. Into the post. Rick Flair takes the ring post. Unbelievable. Reversal by Magnum. Puts On Flair's the forehead. Head the Rick Flair and Magnum TA right here by the table. Flair now back Flair's in the ring. Bleeding. Magnum going after him. Bleeding? It looks like Flair's bleeding. Probably is. He took that head to the post, boy. He's got the scar tissue like everybody else does. And Magnum's working on that forehead. You Look bet he him. is. Punch you bet he is. Punch. He wants to draw blood. Look at he's doing blade thrust. Sandy Barr is not seeing him. Blade right to the forehead. All right. Oh. Good move by Flair, though. He got himself out of a bad situation. Very there. bad situation. Time running out. Unreal. Two Little over two minutes. minutes left to go. Flair defending the gold. Magnum TA going after the gold. It's coming down to a slugfest. One after the other. Reversal into the turnbuckle. Oh, oh Magnum, Magnum TA. TA. Into bar. There goes Sandy the suplex. bar is gone. Magnum belly to belly. There it is. Rick Flair's down. Flair's down. He's Where's down. bar? He's Get bar up there and pop. He's got it. One, two. two. He oh, down. Gee. He was down for at least a ten count. Flair was pinned, Jeannie. Flair was pinned. There is one minute left in this match. Jeannie Bear 
Sandy Barr knocked unconscious temporarily. Ric Flair bleeding from the head. Flair was down. One, two, three. There goes Flair over the top. There goes the top. Here he comes. Oh! Oh! Into a fist of Magnum oh! T.A. Ric Flair oh! bleeding profusely. Magnum's going for it. 30 seconds left. Magnum can't do it. He can't do it. It only takes three, Jeannie. It only takes two. three. Two. Three. One. Shoulders are up. Two. What are you talking about? Look at the strike in Magnum T.A. Backslide. Reverse it. That's a beautiful move by Magnum. One. One. Two. two. Ah, Roll down. Out of it. There's about Rick 20 Flair seconds again. Roll down. The match is over. The time is run out. Unbelievable. The match is over. Unbelievable. Boys are still going Unbelievable. at it. Rick Flair and Magnum Flair's still going bleeding bad, at it. bad. Flair's beating very badly. Rick Flair. Oh, unbelievable match. That's why Rick Flair is the NWA World's Champion right Rick there. Rick Flair still. Once again, he has proven himself. Rick Flair still the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. But I'll tell you what, Jeannie, Magnum T.A., if they had two world title belts in the NWA, Magnum T.A. would have the other one. That's true. Unbelievable. I can't think of anybody who could do a better job than Magnum T.A. Unbelievable. Rick Flair. Rick Flair is a champ. lucky man at the moment. And a very disappointed Magnum T.A. We have the second main event. The AWA the Road Warriors and the AWA champs now, and they're challenged by Billy Haynes and Sergeant Slaughter. It's coming up next. Don't you go away. <laughs>
up against Billy Haynes. Their opponent. And Sergeant Slaughter. That team of Billy Jack Haynes. And the one and only Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, that crowd in Portland loves Sergeant Slaughter. And as much as they love Slaughter, you can imagine how they feel about People's Choice, Portland's own Billy Haynes. Billy Haynes. Well, Who's I, Billy Haynes? I know you have no je love for Billy Jack Haynes, but very popular man here in the Pacific Northwest. Popular with who? See that sneak attack by Haynes and Slaughter? Billy That's and Slaughter for. both going after That's the road That's for. They're taking an ice. I just shot Jack. I wonder who did that. He's taking a few punches here from the Hawks. Animal's crawling back in on his backside, but there's Slaughter keeping an eye out for Billy Jack Haynes. Uh, there's G.I. Joe Slaughter in there now, too, where he shouldn't be. Double teaming him Animal apart, does takes nothing a about boot it. In the midsection by Billy Haynes. Elbow in the back of the head. Another boot by Billy Haynes. First time Billy's been back to Portland for a few months. Crowd loves to see him. They want to see. Billy and Slaughter take these AWA heavyweight belts. Precious Paul standing over by me. Slaughter taking on Animal. G.I. Joe's in there now. Sergeant Slaughter taking on the Animal Road Warrior. Or is it the Road Warrior Animal? This is Animal. Now he goes over and hits Hawk. Goes over, sure, why not? He's got a spare minute. Animal, off the ropes, runs into the elbow of Sergeant Slaughter. Tags are made, Billy Haynes coming in. Sergeant Slaughter going out. There's a boot in the midsection by Billy Haynes. Precious Paul Ellery standing right next to me. Turn bustle in a forehead. Animal, Billy Haynes in the ring. Big shot to the midsection there. Billy Haynes is another one of these in very good shape type people. All four men They're are in like, excellent shape. Oh, really? But the road warriors look like animals. Only one of them. The other one looks like a hawk. Here comes Animal. Runs into a clothesline. Oh, big clothesline by Sarge. Pushes Paul. Sergeant Slaughter and Billy Haynes, old friends from when Billy was back He's in going New York. for the Cobra Clutch. Yes, he is. Here comes Hawk. Bo. Sandy Barr yeah. trying to get Hawk away from. One for the Cobra Clutch. Hawk saved his partner. Yes, he did. There's Hawks going to work on the Sarge now. Oh, oh shoulder, shoulder breaker. breaker. Coming down on Sergeant Slaughter. That's Hawks now going after Sergeant Slaughter. Just put those big boots to him. Repeatedly boot after boot after boot to the chest. There's a boot to the Hawks midsection by Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter now in the turnbuckle, takes a shot across the chest, and another. Sergeant Slaughter now at the mercy of Hawk. Big elbow across the back of the head. Billy Jack Haynes trying to throw his partner on. Oh, the Sarge Sergeant comes Slaughter over. The Sarge comes, right comes over, the, over onto the table here. Right He's over the hurt. top rope, He's onto hurt. the table. Billy Haynes coming He's after him to help him. He's hurt. The Sarge is hurt. He come right over the top rope. Yes, he is hurt. We saw Debbie Combs come over like that earlier. He wiped out several people. And here comes Hawk after the Sarge. The Sarge is down here. He's here. He's right on the table, brother. And they're still coming after him. He's right on the table. They're inflicting a lot of punishment here. 
Let's say our Sergeant, Sergeant Slaughter is going Sarge back up in the hurt. ring, standing on our table. He's going back into the ring after the an animal. Jimmy. He's hurt. Takes more than that to get him down. Sergeant Slaughter now taking a lot of punishment on the Sarge outside of the ring. Bad. Come on, Sergeant. Right if here. we cut off, it's because they're bashing in all of our equipment. He's got him back. He's back in the ring. Sergeant Slaughter back in the ring with the animal. And I'm seeing more activity than I've seen for a while, too. Sergeant's in rough shape. Yes, he is. The Road Warriors are doing what they do best and flick punishment and pain. Big shoulder block by Animal. This is an exciting match. I'm sitting here holding the AWA Tag Team belt and they're battling it out in the ring and they're falling all over me. It's a lot of fun. With Tinlock on the charge. Look at the animal. arms of Animal. Look at the size of those things. Isn't that unbelievable? Billy Hayes now trying Sarge to get the fans going on. for Sergeant Slaughter. Slaughter needs to tag his partner. Slaughter needs to tag Billy so close, Good so far away. Good move Animal. Good move. Tag has been made now. Hawks the legal man in. Animal's on his way out. Sarge takes a big fist to the chest. <laughs> going for the pin. Gets a two count. Sarge just dumps him right off. Sergeant Slaughter, unbelievable man. Large individual. Power, power slam. slam by Adam oh. Hawk. The they whole building off. shook on that one. Boy, I hope the show. 280 pounds of Sergeant Slaughter got power slam by Hawk. Slaughter so close to Billy Haynes. Knee to tag him. Bad thing to do because while Sandy goes and puts Billy Haynes out, they're going to they double-team the Slaughter. In their corner. Precious Paul still standing over here. Definitely means trouble for the Sarge in that corner. I think you're probably right. And then you have the third of oh. Precious Paul Ellery in there, too, which is triple oh, trouble. Oh, yes. Come on, Sarge! The power is right. Sergeant Slaughter needs to tag Billy Haynes. Let's go. Face lock there. It's only seven minutes gone, and already we've all been beaten up down here. Come on, I got my headphones knocked right off my head. The tag has been made. Billy Hayes coming in to take that animal. Sergeant Get him out of there, Barr. Sandy Barr is telling you the tag has not been made. Now you're going to see the Road Warriors do a number on the Sarge. A legal tag, and Sandy Barr slept through it. Former pile. Sarge looks Slaughter pretty rough right choked. now, babe. Precious Paul yelling instructions to his men. You bet. You he bet. wants to see that. Legal the tag punishment. made by Billy Haynes. Sergeant oh. Slaughter and Sandy Barr missed it. So Slaughter is taking all the punishment of Hawk. After taking all the punishment from Animal. Billy Haynes desperately trying to tag his partner. He's got to have both feet on the mat. One hand on the turnbuckle. Longer he can stretch, the better chance he's got. Doesn't look like he's not. He's in rough shape right now. Yes, he is. Billy Haynes trying desperately to reach his partner. Sergeant Slaughter is just taking all this. Look at the expression on Sergeant's face. He's getting mad. Slaughter off the rope. Oh! Not hot damn! Double clothesline that was. Double clothesline, but the sergeant's like he's more stunned. Sergeant's going to the out. wrong corner now. You bet he is. He's dazed. Oh. He needs to tag his partner. Slaughter again. Oh. In the turnbuckle. Very unique uh, maneuver there. This is a very dangerous place to sit up beside him. Sergeant Slaughter crawling, crawling, he's taken, Sandy 
gentlemen, American Ninja, it seems like everybody's getting attacked tonight from the outside. That's right. First of all, I have to get Barry Owens out here right this minute. Barry Owens, where are you? Please come out here. If we can get Barry Owens up here in the crow's nest, American Ninja has uh, something he, that he wants to say to Barry Owens. Please, here comes Barry. Barry making his way to the crow's nest. All right, Barry. Okay, Barry, yes. I don't have to tell you what happened to me tonight. You saw it out there yourself. I got to make a challenge here tonight. Once for all, I got to get this over with. Mafia, ninjas, you take more than some damn ink to make me quit, brother. You want to play the chains? Fine. You want to play the candlesticks? 
Beautiful. That's my kind of fight. Let's do it. Let's get it over once and for all. Barry, while you listen closely, I want a match with a super ninja next week with a chain from my arm to his arm so he can't get away from me. If you try to spray my face, that's beautiful. I'll be able to smell him, snatch him back. He won't be able to get away from me with a chain. I also want a kendo stick hanging on the side of the ring. So after I'm through whipping on with a chain, I can beat him with this kendo stick. One more stipulation is most important. If I beat the Super Ninja, I want him to take off his mask once and for all. Okay, you're saying, if I get this right, you're saying that you want a chain match between you and the Super Ninja tied together. You want that stick, that kendo stick, on top of the pole, and you want a stipulation that if you win the match, he takes off the mask? That's right. That's right. Absolutely. Well, I tell you, that's an awful lot. I'm going to have to think about this, and I'll give you my answer later on in this show. Thank you very much, Barry. Think about it seriously. This is something that has to be done. It's got to be done. Come here. Come here. I want you to take... Can you get a camera one or camera two? Turn around here. I want you to take a look at his shoulder. I want you to take a look at his back. Get a close-up on this. Look at the marks and the bruises here from that kendo stick. Look it up in here. Look over in here. Look at the dye on his skin, and it went all over his eyes and his face. Now, I think this man deserves These that These marks match. are from last week's match. But y'all know, know who was standing at the end of that match, don't you? That's right. American well Ninja. Barry Owen. Barry Owen is in the crow's nest. Barry, have you reached a decision on that uh, challenge? Yes, I have, Don. And Chris Colt, as long as you're here. You were challenged, the Super Ninja was challenged next Saturday night to a steel chain match. Both men will be tied together at the wrist. This is the stipulation, right, Owens? This is and the stipulation. And the kendo stick will be put on the top of the pole. And if the Super Ninja loses, his mask has to come off. And Brian Adams, Brian Adams, I will give you that match. Okay, hold on, Owens. Now, I've heard you talk. Would you hear me talk? All the stipulations against my super ninja, my hitman, my bodyguard, or against the mafia. Now, what about a stipulation for the mafia, for the super ninja? Why don't you do me and my super ninja a favor? I have a stipulation. Okay, let's hear it. Stipulation is, Barry Owens, if American Ninja loses, he leaves town. He leaves the Northwest and not to come back. That's a stipulation. Loser, leave town. Now, would you give me something for the Mafia to fight for and to run this guy out of town? TV. How about... No, 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 no. Off TV, you know what a brutal match this is going to be. You're talking about a chain. You're talking about a kendo stick. You're talking about somebody taking off their mask, their most pride and joy. This is this man's whole life right here, his livelihood. Not on TV and... Loser leaves town. Okay. Now, would you do that for the Mafia? All right. Next Saturday night, chain match, kendo stick on the pole. If your man loses, he takes off his mask. If this American ninja Brian Adams loses, he leaves town, and this will not be on TV, Don All Kong. right. You got yourself a Go ahead. Day, brother. Uh, Watch the Mafia strike back now. One more little stipulation thrown in by the Mafia. That's right. I got the match. I'll be chaining the Super Ninja. The kennel stick will be hanging. If I win, he loses his mask. He takes his mask off. I'll be glad to put up my reputation and leave town if I lose. That's fine with me. Just a reminder, this match is going to be off TV, though. Please don't sit home on your couch. Come down. I need all the support I can get. Thank you very much. All right, Brian Adams, American Ninja, you did exactly what you said you were going to do. That's absolutely right. I saw what I was going to do. Here's the proof right here. Super Ninja, you're gone, baby. You're gone. Rip the cripple over. I don't know who you think you are. You messed with the wrong guy this time. I'm telling you right now. You call yourself a crippler? I'll show you what crippling's all about. I got an open contract. You sign that dotted line, you'll find 